Hey everybody, Brian back with another Prototech tip. And this week I'm going to explain the differences between countersink and counterbore. At Protocase, we're all about simplifying how you source your parts and enclosures. You have specific requirements for your projects, and that's why we have a fast, one-stop shop for mass custom manufacturing. Part of our one-stop shop service is the ability to create countersinks and counterbores on your custom parts and enclosures. The primary difference between countersinking and counterboring is the shape that they produce. While countersinks produce a cone-shaped hole, counterbores produce a cylindrical, flat bottom hole. These two processes also differ in how they are created. For countersinking, we use a drill press machine to create the countersunk hole. On the other hand, counterbores can be created using either CNC mills or CNC routers. Now let's get to the use case. That's the good stuff, right? Countersinks allow your flathead screw to sit flush against the surface metal of your enclosure or part. This can help avoid interference and creates a streamlined look. Meanwhile, counterbores are used when cap screws are required so that the head of the screw sits flush or below the surface of the material. To simplify it, countersinks are usually used to insert screws while counterbores hold bolts. Protocase offers standard countersink angles of 82 degrees, 90 degrees, and 100 degrees. But if you require a custom angle, please feel free to get in touch with an account manager and we can assess what's achievable. For counterbores, there is no set of standard angles as it's a machine process. Counterbores are costlier than countersinks due to the requirement of the router cutting or CNC milling. Counterbores also require thicker material to be able to achieve the required depth to conceal the head of the screw. At the end of the day though, counterbores are more secure when it comes to mounting of parts when compared to an angled countersunk screw. This is because they typically have more holding strength due to the force being applied parallel to the surface. Do note that you can add a countersink to your design in our in-house CAD software, Protocase Designer. We'll soon add the capability to add counterbores on the software as well, so stay tuned for that. And with that, we come to the end of this week's tutorial. We hope this video helps you make the right decision between having countersinks and counterbores in your design. If you want to discuss your specific part requirements, let's get in touch with a Protocase account manager by sending across an email to info at protocase.com or filling up the contact us form on our website. You can find the link in the video description. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to ensure you don't miss out on any future tech tips. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.